Watch you guys today. We're taking a look at Windows 11 24 H2 LTSC. Uh, this is probably the best version of Windows, and we're going to be having a look at it here because Microsoft have released Windows 11 LTSC 24 H2, and also we're going to be taking a look at the IoT Enterprise version as well. And I'll show you uh, the debloated versions of these. You can see them listed right here. We're going to take a look at both of these, Windows 11 Enterprise LTSE and Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSE. Now, both of these versions have long support, which means they are going to be around for quite some time. And we're going to take a look at them. They do come pre-debloated, which means that you won't have all of the bloat installed on these versions of Windows. So if that's a big turn off for you when you look at Windows 11, which is the standard Windows 11 version, the non LTSC versions or enterprise versions, these versions, what you're looking at right here, are completely debloated. They will be using a lot of legacy parts inside here, like legacy notepad and things like that. And I'll show you that when we get to the desktop. I'm not going to go through the complete installation process. It is pretty much the same as what you would do with a standard Windows 11 install. Now you still have to bypass the uh, account here because they do want you to sign up with an account and we're not going to be doing any of that. We want a local account, but you can still do it and you can still bypass it. It's pretty straightforward stuff. But other than that, it's a pretty decent version of Windows because you don't have to basically use any debloating scripts and all that sort of stuff. It does come pretty much debloated straight out of the box. When you install Windows, it's going to be a lot lighter than what you would get with, say, a normal version of Windows 11. So we're nearly there now. All I need to do here is give this a name and I'll take us to the desktop and we can take a look. So this is the install for Windows 11 uh, 24H2 LTSC. This is the LTSC version and you can see it's pretty cleaned out. There's not a lot of stuff in here and you can still go further. You can basically remove a lot of stuff. Let me show you here the notepad. It's the stock notepad here, legacy version of it. And also when we go into other programs that are installed on here as well, we can remove Edge on here. We can uninstall it. And let me take a look at uh, Paint. You can see Paint doesn't have any sort of uh, co-pilot or any AI on it whatsoever. That's been removed. And let's come down and take a look at, say, for instance, the snipping tool here. Again, the very basic snipping tool, no AI and no Copilot, which is a plus. So a pretty clean looking install. And again, you can clean this up a little bit more and you can still use a program called ShutUp10 to turn off a lot of privacy settings if you want to. And again, you can see here we do have a legacy look here. So all in all, I do think this is probably the best way to go if you don't want to have all of the bloat that comes with Windows 11 itself, i.e. Copilot and, uh, say, for instance, uh, Recall and things like that. Now, saying that, let's just see if Recall is actually installed on here. Now, there's a big debate at the moment about Recall and people blowing it all out of proportion. Recall will not work on this system. And it's not going to work because it's not an MPU on here. And uh, the, at the moment, it's not going to work. Now, people are saying, well, why is it installed on uh, the Windows 11 24 H2? I don't know. It's on there as a service, but it's not copying data and it's not putting it into a location on your local drive. So you don't have to worry about it as much, but you can disable it and it does stay disabled as well. So let's take a look here. Windows 11 Enterprise LTSE 24H2 and we'll quickly check the command prompt. And I'm pretty sure that recall will be on there because it's probably part of the code that's inside 24H2 and there's not a lot you can do about it. But because it's not a, a Copilot Plus PC, it's not going to function like a normal recall would. It's not going to start copying data and putting it and storing it onto your system because we never got those questions during the installation process about recall. And that's what Microsoft are going to be doing when they release Recall with the uh, PCs that are compatible with uh, Recall. So let's take a look here and type in the command so we can see whether Recall is running on here. I'm pretty sure it will be because it is 24H2 and that's what they've done. They've put it on here as a 
dependency or service run in here, which you will have to disable. Now, like I've said previously, there's a bit of fear mongering going on. There was a lot of misinformation going about at the beginning. People saying that it's copying data and it's, you know, sending it back to Microsoft. And this service here is just running. It's not working as recall should work, which is basically storing data on your PC. It's not doing that because you don't have a Copilot Plus PC. That's not to say that Microsoft don't have plans in the future but of course, that would mean that AMD and Intel would have to come on board and there would be new hardware release with the AI technology, which would then enable recall and stuff like that. But that's not right now. This is in place right here. You can see the state is enabled and you can see here we can disable this by just using that command and it disables it. It doesn't turn itself back on. It doesn't work in the background copying data. And even if this was enabled right now and I left it enabled, it is not working and copying data and storing it on your PC the way Recall would do. And there's a lot of people that are saying it does, but it doesn't. So those people are misinformed. There is nothing to do with Recall in here because we don't have a Copilot Plus PC. I've already mentioned this in a previous video some time ago. Uh, but again, other people are saying different things, but it's not the case. So let's take a look here. And you've got the normal settings inside here that you would get with a normal Windows 11 PC. We've turned off recall. And all we need to do now is go ahead and you can deal with some of these privacy concerns here. If you want to turn off some of this stuff manually or in the group policy, or you can use programs like shut up 10. You can see here it does have Windows Defender running on here. Again, you can turn this off if you wanted to. But let's go ahead and what we'll do next is we'll take a look at the browser we want to get another browser on here so i'm just going to download google chrome here you can use whatever browser you like if you don't like google chrome and you want to use another type of browser you can do now i'm not going to continue with the setting up of edge here because i want to uninstall edge so let me just stop that process right here and all i'm going to do here is just download chrome get that installed and then we can uninstall edge on here so let me go ahead and finish off here. Now, if you do need the Windows or Microsoft Store, you can also install that. If you want to see videos on how to install certain features back onto this version, then let me know in the comment section below and I'll make those videos for you. So I'm just going to download Ono Shut Up 10. It does pretty much everything you need it to do. You don't need to run any fancy scripts or anything that's over the top. All you need to do here is basically run this program and it will turn off a lot of the privacy settings inside Windows at the user level. So I wanted to try to create a restore point there. I don't think I've got enough space there, but let me just go ahead and set this up and just turn off the microphone. And also if you want the camera, you can do, make sure you do that if you're setting it up with the yellow settings. All we need to do here is restart the PC and all of those privacy settings will be changed. And you can already see right here, we have a pretty clean system already and we haven't done anything because it's come pre-installed like this. A lot of the stuff is legacy stuff and you can go through here and uninstall all of this stuff if you wanted to, just like I'm going to show you right here. Uninstall Edge and we can uninstall Microsoft Edge WebView 2 if you want to, Paint, uh, the Remote Desktop Connection Snipping Tool. You can remove all of that from this version of Windows as well. So let me go ahead and uninstall all of this. And once we've done this, we should have a pretty clean looking system. Let me go back in here now. And I skip that because I don't want to show you all that process because it will bore you to tears. But you can see we've got a pretty clear looking uh, system. There's not much on here now. And that's pretty much it. That is the Windows 11 24H2 LTSC version and it looks pretty clean and it will probably be the version that I will be using myself. All I would do is just turn off, um, you know, recall and go into the group policy and I'll probably use that to turn off a lot of those features myself. If you would like to see a video on that, let me know also in the comments section down below and I'll do my best to make that video for you. Now, what I do want to do here is I also want to show you the other version, which is the Windows 11 24H2 IoT version, which is the enterprise version 
that is a trial version and you will need to get a key a certain key for that particular version to activate it you still need to activate the windows 11 ltse version but it's a lot more easier to activate this version than it is the other version so i'm going to go ahead and you would download all of the downloads the way you would do on a normal version of windows except this is a lighter version so let me quickly show you the other version and we'll just see if uh, recall is on there as a service running there which we have to disable and see what it looks like so this is the version we're going to quickly go ahead and i'll skip all of this part and get to the desktop you can see now i've got this version right here windows 11 iot enterprise ltse a 90 day evaluation version this is right here after that 90 days you will need to activate this version or reinstall it uh, on this particular version on the other one uh, you will uh, be able to get a, a key for that and activate that in a certain way so let's go ahead and take a look here we do have all of the legacy programs that start menu looks a little bit cleaner here but all of these are the same legacy type programs no ai no copilot plus stuff on here um, i'm pretty sure that it will probably have a uh, recall on here because they're probably using that it's probably hard coded into windows 11 24 h2 whether it will be ltsc or whether it will be iot i think it's hard coded into the actual operating system itself why would they do that well because they probably don't want a separate version of windows called recall and they've probably got it as a windows 11 24h2 from then on you'll have that recall hard coded in there when you go to install windows 11 uh, 24h2 onto a computer if it's a computer that supports uh, the mpus and the technology that copilot plus pcs have it will probably have those features already in the settings like you would see and you would have to go through that process or maybe it's a case that when you don't have a pc like that it just has it as a, a service like this and you can disable it if you want to it's not going to be running or functional like this right now but maybe that's the way they've got it set up where it's just back actually built into the operating system and it would only work when it's installed onto a system like copilot plus pcs who knows only microsoft will be able to answer that question let me know in the comments section uh, whether you would be willing to use windows 11 ltsc uh, because i do believe that is probably the best version of windows that microsoft release and it's probably the, the one that most people would like to use because it's lightweight and it doesn't have all of the bloat that a normal version of windows 11 has like ai and copilot and also recall cortana and you can uninstall edge and it doesn't have all of that blow already pre-installed like all the apps and things like that all of that has been ripped out by microsoft so you don't have to go and create your own custom iso let me know your thoughts anyway with that said i think that's going to be about it my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk quick shout out to my youtube members i really do appreciate the support and i shall catch you in the next one bye for now